my channel and welcome to part six of my Christmas decorate with me for 2023 series. In today's video I'm going to be decorating the dining room and setting up my hot cocoa bar. I've already got a cup of it here and I am super excited to dive into all of the decorating. If you are new here today, welcome. My name is Sarah and I love making tons of shop with me videos, home decorating, and seasonal decorating. So if that is stuff that you are interested in, I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscription button down below. I am super excited to be diving into all of the decorating because King of Christmas gifted me a Christmas tree and I cannot wait to put it up and see how it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and play some Christmas music and dive right on into all of the decorating in today's video. Much as I do, it's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year, drinking hot wine by the fire. Here on our own, we got nothing to fear. It's Christmas, and some kind of love, my friend. Pick up some candy canes and hang a wreath on your door. Outside's now glistening. It's just you. So uh, now it's time for me to go ahead and start putting up my tree. And this video is not sponsored by them. They did gift me the tree, but it is not sponsored. It is completely my honest opinion. And I am honestly obsessed with them. They send a tree bag to go along with the tree that you get, as well as a remote and some gloves that you can put on while you're fluffing it so you don't get your hands and arms all scratched up. And with the remote, it has eight different light settings. I'm going to show you all a couple in this video, but I think it is super cool that they have that. You can also adjust the brightness of the light. So if you don't want it to be super bright, you can dim it down a little bit. And I've never had a tree before that has that option. So I thought that was super cool, but I am going to go ahead and get the tree put up now. I got the seven and a half foot queen flock tree that is pre-lit. It has 800 lights on it and it is absolutely gorgeous. It did not require hardly any fluffing. It was beautiful straight out of the box and I am completely obsessed with this tree. So if y'all are interested in checking out King of Christmas, I'm going to leave a link down below to my tree and you can head over to their website and take a look at it. A couple more things that I wanted to mention about the tree that I forgot to tell you all is one of the coolest things is you don't have to connect the sections like full around and find wires to connect to each other. It has the power in the pole. So all you have to do is stick the next section on and it automatically is going to light up, which I thought was super cool. And I also wanted to tell you all, I'm sure you all are going to notice that a ton of snow comes off of this tree while I am doing all of the, like putting the different pieces on doing all the fluffing. And they have said on their social media, 
that it is perfectly normal for one of their flock trees to have a lot of shedding the first year that you put it up because it's just like excess snow that is sitting on the tree that is falling off. But the consecutive years as you put it up, you should not have hardly any snow, if any at all, falling off of it. And I think that that's pretty cool because I know one of my cheaper flock trees, every year that I put it up, I just feel like it's losing more and more snow. And I don't think that's going to be a problem with this one, which is really cool. Waiting on the frozen lake, saying hi to every friendly face, and later we warm up by the fireplace. Now that the tree is fluffed and ready to go, we are going to go ahead and start decorating it. And I wanted to do a red and gingerbread theme. So red is going to be like my main color and then I'm adding in lots of gingerbread and I am obsessed with the way that this tree turned out. I went with the same decor theme that I did on the pencil tree that I put in here last year and I just added to it. But I do plan on getting some larger red ornaments to add to this next year. I might try to find them on clearance this year because it's already decorated and I don't want to really mess with it this year. But I do think it would be nice to add in some larger ornaments since it's such a large tree. And this tree does also come in a slim option, but I really wanted a nice full tree. So I did not pick the slim one. I went with the full size one. But this tree is gorgeous. I really don't think that I've ever had a tree as beautiful as this one is. And I would love for you to leave a comment down below once I finish all the decorating and let me know what you think about it. I was a little iffy about how the tree topper turned out because it's very hard to find a tree topper that is gingerbread theme. I only found one on Amazon that I kind of liked, but I really didn't love it that much. So I didn't end up ordering it. And I just took some stems that I got at Hobby Lobby that were like gingerbread snowflakes. And I added some of the glitter curly branches that they have. And I think that it worked, but I don't know if it's necessarily my favorite. So again, I would love for you to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I got
finally finished decorating the tree and underneath the tree with all of my gingerbread stuff we're gonna go ahead and clear off my kitchen table and go ahead and get the centerpiece decorated on this the only thing that I am not doing quite yet it will be at the end of the video is making a dessert to go in to my little like dessert tray that I have on there and we're just gonna keep working on decorating the rest of this dining room Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight till we reach 
Moving on over to the other side of the dining room now, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tiered tray decorated. And I did end up using the exact same decor that I did last year. I just loved it so much. I wanted to completely recreate it. And then we're going to set up my hot cocoa bar slash coffee bar. And that I ended up completely changing up this year. I decided to move my Keurig over to the center and I have one side of it decorated as like a coffee bar situation. And then the other side is decorated for a hot cocoa bar situation. And I just love the way that it turned out because I never wanted to fully transition it into just straight up a hot cocoa bar. But I also didn't want to just do a coffee bar because I like the warm coziness of a hot cocoa bar this time of year. So I wanted to incorporate both and I've struggled the past couple years figuring out how to do that. And I think I finally figured it out this year. We're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy. I feel like every year there is always one item with my decorations that I struggle with. I have to fight with it the whole time to try and get it to do what I want it to do. And this year that item was this hot chocolate bar sign. I wanted it to sit up here like up above the mugs but underneath the shelf. And no matter what I did, I could not get it to sit up there. I finally at one point got it up there. And as soon as I started adding the mugs, it fell over again. Then I had the sign on the top fall down and it was just a complete chaotic mess trying to get it all to sit up there exactly how I wanted it. And I ended up cutting out probably 15 minutes of footage just of me fighting with this hot chocolate bar sign. But I finally got it figured out. I got it to stay up there and I am not touching it until the season is over because I do not want it to fall down again. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree tomorrow it is Christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way but as long as you're around everything will be okay Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow. Now that the hot cocoa bar slash coffee bar is finished, it is time to decorate my charcuterie board display. And then we get to move on over to uh, make that Christmas dessert recipe. For me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. 
So the recipe that I'm going to be making today is some chocolate chip M&M cookie bars and I am going to link the recipe down below from Pinterest and I wanted to let you all know I did not fully read the recipe. I broke my rule that I have of reading the whole recipe before I make anything and it was a little bit of a Pinterest fail. It still worked out. I was able to put it in my tray and it tasted delicious, but the process of baking it did not go according to plan because on the recipe at the beginning, it says that she used the nine by 13 glass pan. And down at the bottom of the recipe, there was an update that said that using the glass pan can make it bake unevenly where the center of it is still like complete dough in the middle. So that ended up happening to me because I did not read the full thing and I used the glass pan. And it also said on there very specifically to make sure that you are using the right size eggs. It said to use large, not extra large. And I actually ended up using the jumbo eggs because that's typically what I have on hand. So it made the dough a little runnier than what it was supposed to be. And it was just kind of a mess overall. There were a lot of things that I skipped over because I didn't fully read the recipe and it kind of ended up messing it up. So I didn't include it all on camera, but I ended up having to take it out of the glass pan and putting it on a cookie sheet to try and get it to bake the rest of the way, which ended up making all of the edges super crispy. And then the center of it was barely baked all the way. So I do plan on trying this recipe again some point this season and making it the proper way instead of all of the little mistakes that I made. But I just wanted to be completely honest with you all, let you know what went wrong while I was making it and give you all a little reminder to make sure that you are reading the full recipe so you don't end up with a partial Pinterest fail like I did. <laughs> Say that. 
And now it is time for all of the clips showing how all of the decor came together. I really hope that you all enjoyed watching today and got tons of decor inspiration. I know I had a ton of fun decorating in here and even though the dessert did not work out completely according to plan, it was still pretty delicious and I'm definitely going to try making it again. I am super excited to have a hot cocoa bar and coffee bar mixed together and I love the way that it turned out. And I hope that you all enjoyed watching today. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscription button down below to join my YouTube family. I would love to have you a part of it. I hope that you all have a great day and a great week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.